Good afternoon to all of you. I am Bharti Jain from Punjab University, Chandigarh, and I am very much pleased to present my research work in front of you. And my today's presentation topic is filter paper based colorimetric strip for determination of aspirin and the salicylic acid exploiting digital image colorimetry coupled with the depressive liquid liquid micro extraction. So first of all, I just want to brief about the DIC. So DIC is a powerful, fast, and low and uh, low cost analysis method. It measures the target analyte with the color changes of the digital images. Uh, with the color changes of the digital image obtained by the camera scanner and uh, uh, and so many other devices, and it converts the images with the numeric information. So in this study, I coupled DIC with the DLLME and uh, for the extraction of aspirin and its metabolite salicylic acid in the human urine, pharmaceutical, and the cosmetic products. Uh, Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, is it visible? Yes, please go ahead. Oh, okay, okay, sir. And the DLLME and DLLME is a, a depressive liquid liquid micro extraction technique and uh, developed by the Regi at uh, uh, in two thousand six. And DLLME works on the ternary component system including the aqueous phase, uh, depressive solvent, and the extraction solvent. So now the purpose of my study, and the first purpose of my study is capability of in-situ and on-site analysis. And the second is consumption of least amount of uh, organic solvents and the reagents. And third is providing a portable analytical system for the user-friendly experience. And fourth is, high sample throughput, cost effectiveness and eco-friendly and my last purpose high extraction efficiency and enrichment factor now the methodology so first is the fabrication of the photographic box then multivariate uh, use uh, doi approach uh, like pvd and ccd then dllme procedure digital image analysis and hplc analysis so this is uh, my methodology and now, as you see uh, in figure two, a photographic box. In this box, a hole was made in the top of the box to allow the smartphone camera to be placed 23 centimeter away from the filter paper strip and capturing the clear and the non-reflective image of the color strip. And uh, the box was played, uh, placed at a particular place in the laboratory to uh, to get the homogenized light, light inside the box throughout the analysis. Then uh, I, uh, uh, I used the DOI approach that is design of experiments. Uh, there are various experimental parameters like volume of extraction and the dispersion solvent, vortex time and speed, which are, la are largely influence the DLLME extraction efficiency. For this purpose, uh, multivariate analysis was used to optimize these factors and uh, which was utilized in two steps. So first is PVDs, that is uh, placket Bowman design. And uh, 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 it is used for screen the significant factors. And second is CCD, is central composite design that is used to optimize the significant parameters obtained by the PVD. In next figure, you can see there is a uh, react, uh, reaction scheme because uh, aspirin is a colorless uh, uh, and colorless uh, powder and lacks distinct absorption in the visible range so it must be uh, converted into a color product, product via a colorimetric reaction so that dic can be used to analyze the intensity of the developed color so aspirin was hydrolyzed into the salicylic acid uh, and then allowed to react with the ferric chloride uh, uh, ferric chloride and leading to the formation of uh, iron salicylate complex, uh, which appears the blue color in the visible region. Now, next is my uh, 
extraction procedure that is DLLME. Uh, in this, uh, under the optimized condition, I just use uh, uh, ultra pure water, and uh, that water was fortified with the aspirin, and the sample was hydrolyzed for 60 minutes at 90 degrees Celsius. Then sample was transferred into the centrifuge tube and then quickly added a blend of dispersion or extraction solvent. And at this step, a step, a cloudy solution was formed. And when the small droplets of the, uh, where the small droplets of the extraction solvent were dispersed over the, uh, uh, ex, uh, over the entire aqueous phase and the sample was then centrifuged for three minutes at 5,000 RPM and then remove the supernatant part and uh, spot the sedimentated phase uh, on the impregnated filter paper strip, then capturing the digital image of the filter paper strip inside the colorimetric box, and then transfer to the laptop and stored in a JPG format. And the images were uniformly cropped in a circle via online image editing tool, and then, further process by the image J and then split into the RGB channels and blue channel. I used blue channel because it is, uh, it, it, show, it shows best sensitivity and the result for the quantitative analysis. And these images convert into the peak area uh, and these peak areas uh, further use for the statistical analysis. Now, the multivariate optimization. So, uh, in figure four, you can see this is a Pareto chart. And uh, in this, I screened these seven factors. Uh, you can see there is a red line and uh, the pH, volu pH volume of extraction and dispersion solvent have significantly effect. Uh, while uh, ultrasonic time, vortex time, ionic strength, and vortex speed were found to be non-significant, you can see easily in this picture, uh, there is a red line touched by three uh, factors, that is pH, volume of extraction, and volume of dispersion solvent. And in the next picture, this is a response surface graph, and these graphs used for the optimization of, uh, optimization of factors, which are obtained by the CBD. Now, the, uh, my application path, so my proposed uh, method, DLLME DIC method was has effectively used to quantify the aspirin and the salicylic acid in various cosmetic samples, uh, human urine samples, and uh, in pharmaceutical samples. So for the human urine sample, I got the sample from the two females and uh, one male, aged between the 26 to 40 years, and I compared the result with the HPLC, uh, HPLC method. Now further, I... Uh, I evaluated my uh, my proposed method uh, for greenness. So uh, you can see in this picture, uh, the proposed method have evaluated for greenness using this. Uh, these are the complex GAPI uh, pictograms. And uh, these, uh, these uh, pictograms are uh, start from a stage of the uh, sample collection to final determination of the analyte. And, uh, GAPI pictogram consists of five pentagons, as you can see, and the additional field at its bottom. And each uh, pictogram depicts different aspect of the analytical procedure, such as uh, uh, you can see in the picture, first pentagram, and uh, there is a first number is used for the collection, second number used for the pres uh, preservation, and third number used for the transportation, and fourth number is used for the uh, storage. And then sec uh, next pentagram is second pentagram. Sixth number is scale of extraction, which kind of scaling I'm used uh, in my uh, method. And then which kind uh, seven number is used for the solvent or the reagent use, which kind of reagent I use if they are uh, health hazard or safety hazard. Then eight number is for the additional treatment. And in third pentagram, there is a nine number. Uh, this indicates the amount of the sample. 10 number is indicate the health hazard and 11 is indicates the safety hazard. Uh, now there is uh, no fifth pentagon because uh, I didn't use any instrumental method. So there is no fifth pentagon, but there is a external pentagon 
uh, uh, which is uh, used for the first first roman number is used for the yield and second number is used for the temperature and the time if used in the research and third number is used for the uh, there are some kind of uh, green uh, analytical principles if we are uh, meeting these prin those principles so uh, we use third number and then uh, next uh, next fourth a is for uh, health hazard fifth uh, fourth b for the safety hazard num uh, safety hazard then uh, fifth is technical setup because there is no technical setup so there is an white in color uh, then is energy uh, how much energy is used in my research and then and what is the end product of my research and what is the purity of my research and uh, in between there is a e factor because there is no waste generation in my research so e factor is zero so i just compared uh, uh, i just evaluate the greenness for my research uh, of my research for the pharmaceutical and uh, pharmaceutical and urine samples now the co conclusion of my research so first conclusion is the method is simple rapid cost effective and high sample throughput second it does not require any high and analytical uh, analytical instrument and the cost of the analysis is also significantly reduced to almost uh, negligible price and third is uh, in my research total analysis time from dllme to dic is less than 60 minutes and last uh, last uh this uh, this approach can be the pave the path for the determination of drugs in complex matrices thank you